Hi guys, the Rat Buster here, and uh, welcome to another session on the rats. Well, I'd just like to thank each and every one of the 100,000 plus subscribers I've got now for getting me that milestone to get me to this first silver plaque. Hopefully a few more. I'm going to dedicate this video tonight to uh, a smashing bloke from America, Chris and Leslie Bennett. Uh, they've just done an article on me. Uh, there will be a link to that article on my next video, which will be out tomorrow in the descriptions. Uh, the guy's done an article on us regarding the channel and how I got started in shooting rats. So that's an absolutely fantastic read. I'd just like to thank Ick for their support on this channel. Uh, also Nightmaster, uh, another big sponsor. I've also got another massive, massive sponsor. I will be revealing that on the next video. So don't forget, if you haven't already subscribed to this channel, you are missing the best action on YouTube without a shadow of a doubt. So as always, thanks for watching, guys. And hope you like this little session again tonight.
Well guys, I'm back at this farm where I've been coming for the last couple of weeks where the corn shed was full of them. I've had a week off, I've come back up tonight and it just looks like I haven't even been. Uh, couldn't believe it, uh, the amount of rats on this farm, again still. But all good for me, all good for the subscribers and the viewers. But I'll keep plodding away, might be take me a little bit longer but we always get there in the end. Works every time that little squeak. Unbelievable. Big mistake for that rat there. Works every time that little squeak. Unbelievable. Big mistake for that rat there. Well guys, I've just finished on this farm. I'm going to go and do another pickup. I know a lot of people love these pickups. So, some big rats on this farm still. There's a little one there. That's a babby. So you can just see the difference there. That's a fully grown rat. Looks like a big male or a female. But it's a big and whatever the size it is. There's a few more around this other side. I'm going to go around here. This farmer started to put uh, a few homemade bait stations out. There is poison there. It's full. It hasn't even been touched. It's been down three weeks there. Just shows you how clever these rats are. They will not touch something new like that. They've been running across here all the time. As soon as you put something new like that there, they'll just avoid it like the plague. Another big rat that.
that has that looks like it's had half of its uh, back eaten away by another rat that definitely going to need a bigger bucket that's it for in here someone there uh, on the outside where the big corn shed is so we'll go and get these out of here these bills here they had quite a few and you'll see on the thermal footage there's one just sat just on that little ledge there got it here it is here fell off there that's the beauty of the thermals you'll see every little bit of heat in these and once you see the the heat signature just go straight to your uh, atn and then just uh pop them off so we'll go over the shed Now and get this this is the pile of corn they were all sat on get a, quite a few comments asking what rats uh the rats are, that are causing the problems well this is it this is this is barley that's just been harvested this year one left and the rats are just you know they'd have a field day on this couple more around here Well, I think that's it in this shed. I'll go look around the other side of this building. So all these get picked up on every session. I don't always video it because sometimes I'm on my own. But what happens then, the farmer will incinerate them. They don't just get left. They all get picked up and they'll just get incinerated and that's how they get disposed of. So can he feel in there? There's a few just around the other side of this building. We'll go and get them. So, this uh, roller here, I've just been speaking to the farmer. We've asked him if we can, uh, we can pull this into the centre of the yard because they've just all been hiding behind this. It's a bit of a cover for them. Once you get behind there, you can't really shoot them. So, I'm just going to have a quick look on this other side. I've got a few on the other side of this building. And uh, I think that's it. So, I am going to be visiting another one of the farms I haven't been for the five or six weeks so I will be going there after this little babby there so I think that's about it perfect example for you people that's a fen trap with chocolate on it that's been there four weeks well three weeks since i've been coming up this farm it's never been touched and the bait in the box has never been touched i know the farmers have to have these type of things down for uh, insurance purposes but they just don't work you don't catch the number of rats in fen traps and traps 
that you would do with a gun. The gun is the best and fastest way to get rid of them. So that just proves a point to everyone. There you go. That'll do for the night, guys. Well, just at this farm again, we've uh, had a week off. So don't forget, the is this thermal to win when I hit 150,000 subscribers. All you got to do is leave a comment, share and like that video, and also share and like the Hick Micro UK page on Facebook. It's as simple as that. Once I get the 150,000, the video will go on. So, as always, if you haven't subscribed to this channel, you are missing the best rat in action out there, without a shadow of a doubt. So, hope you like this little session tonight, as always, guys, and thanks for watching.